Hi, it's Katie, and welcome to my corner of the world. Okay, it's June. It's June 1st. This year is flying by, folks. Folks, but because it is the first of the month, it is time to shop my stash for some June products. So the first thing we do is kind of uh, get the palette of the month that I pre-chose. Those the palettes for at the beginning of the year. I will link that up above if you are interested. And then we also have our little box of turn and burns to check out here. I guess it's not a box, it's a bag. But first let's talk about the palette of the month. This month I chose the Magic Mini. This is by Juvia's Place. And this is what it looks like. I just thought it was so fun. I thought it was June. The colors just reminded me of summer, like fun. And carnival, we have all kinds. There's a lot of shimmers in here. So when I pick my like companion palettes for the month, I think I'm going to have to uh, really focus on some with mattes in them. Because we have all of these gorgeous shimmers here. This Faso, this is beautiful. Let's see if I can get that. Look how pretty that is. is and then down here we have the, the Yara and the Buzo. Oh, and this Yamoka. I'm not even sure how to say it. It looks like maybe a silver. They're so pretty. Yeah, the ones is silver. You can check this Yara too. I mean, they're just so gorgeous. I just love the Juvia's Place palettes. It's so, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one this month. Okay, so that's the palette of the month. That's the one I have to use this month. And then we'll pick a couple of companion palettes in a little bit. But first, let's see what I have in my turn and burn here. Thank goodness, I think I have a new mascara because I did not like the last one that I used this past month. We'll talk about that one more in the, the sizzle and fizzle. It's been a while since I've liked a mascara, so I'm hoping I like this one. This is from the Revolution Lion King collection. It is just a, a black mascara. This is what is on here. You have Simba. Uh, you would think Nala with the pink, but Simba was the one who got the pink coloring thing in this collection. And I don't know why, but he did. So, let's get that out. That is what it looks like when you open it. That is what the wand looks like. I'm afraid this might be dried out. Ooh, that might be really dried out. Okay, we're going to have to try this. I might have to, I might pull a, another small one. And when I a, shop my stash there, there to supplement that in case it has gone dry. If it has, it's my own darn fault. Don't, uh, it don't come at Makeup Revolution. It's I let it sit around too long um, because this one and to me is like a collector one. And if you've been around, you know me. I love my Disney. If you have not, welcome. My name is Katie and on my channel, I do a lot of unboxings in subscription boxes. I do some hauls and mystery boxes is and I do oh, Tea Tuesdays and and spoilers, especially for FabFitFun and, and Ipsy. Yeah. Okay, next we have the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. <laughs> Another moisturizer. I was just thinking I had just used up my moisturizer from last month. And I was like, ooh, I can get into some of the other ones that I have. Uh, but no, I have a new one now that I need to use up. It's okay. I think this one will get used up pretty quickly. It's not super big, so I'm glad. And I, I do want to try their hydration line. Let's see. A couple more little things in here. 
Okay, we have, what are you, from Biro. This is a pear serum oil. Hmm. We will have to see how we like this. Sometimes I am not a fan of oils. My face is very oily to begin with, and sometimes, sometimes an oil is okay. Most of the time, my face just, like, rejects it. It does not absorb. It just lays on my face, and then the makeup and everything else just won't go on nicely. But we will give it a try. And the last thing we have in here is from Tarte. It is their Shape Tape. Ape. This is the Ultra Creamy. And this is a, what are you? This is a concealer and it is in, does it give me a color? It is 12N, which is a fair neutral. Oh, so. Okay, so that's the, the ones that were in my Turn and Burn for this month and my monthly palette. Let's go shop my stash for the other things I'm going to need this month. Okay, so the next thing here is we need to pick out a couple of masks to use this month. So let's see what we haven't been using. Um, let's grab this After Sun one in, by Pacifica. Uh, because, you know, we're getting into June. We're already starting to go to the pool more. So let's grab one of those. Let's see. What else do we want in here? What haven't we used for a while? One that we want to try. Um, oh, I got a bunch of thirst traps from Wishful. So let me try one of those. Let's choose one more here. Oh, another sun one from Face Three. I have two of those, so let's grab one of those also. I still have all those swatches on my hand. Okay, so we're going to go with those three. Now we're going to go get some eye masks. Yeah. Let's see as far as eye masks what we want to try out. I need to finish up, before I pull those out, I have another one I need to finish up. So, we gotta get one of our Grace and Stella ones. Let's get, let's get one of the Wishful ones. I don't know if I've tried one of those yet. Um, and, let's see, what else do we have? Let's grab this one. And this is from Butanic Beauty, the Guardian Angel. Okay. Ooh, and let's grab a Wonder Beauty baggage claim one too. Okay, so we're gonna grab four of those. All right, let's go over and get some additional palettes and makeup. Let's start looking in here. This is mainly eyeliners, eye primers, mascaras. I did say I wanted to grab another mascara, so let's see what else we have in here. Um, heavy Grande Drama. Let's Let's grab this little guy, and this is the um, Beauty for Certain BFC. Let's grab this mascara and try him out and see what we think. Um, wow, eyeliners. Oh, I do need a brow gel too. Let's see. Is this color? This one, this one and the benefit brow gel is clear. Ink. Complex culture might be color. Might have a tint. Yes. This one is tinted, so let's go with the complex culture one. 
Let's grab a of beauty for certain. This just caught my eye. This pretty, pretty copper color or liner. Okay, that's what we're gonna stick with from here. Zillion and one and foundations and primers in here. So let's see. Primer wise, grab the Elf Elf oh, Power Grip. I've been wanting to try this one. I'm just about out of the two that I'm using right now. So let's grab this one. And foundation wise, I already have one of these that I'm using right now. Just finishing up my early CC cream. So I'm not going to go with those ones right now. What do we have here? Ooh, we have the shape tape. Let's go with this one, with this foundation. Since we have the concealer already, let's try this one. Put back in. You know what, I, let's grab these two for our um, color correcting primer, or color, what are they? Color correcting serum moisturizer primer. Apparently it does everything. I got these in the spring Walmart beauty box. So let's grab these and see how they are. Okay. Shadows. Now we have to stink. Stink? We don't have to stink. We have to think strategically here. What don't we have in our palette? We don't have a lot of... And I definitely don't have a, a lot of... Where are you? You're a glimmer also. These are all glimmer shades, aren't they? They, yeah. They're shimmers. I don't want a shimmer. Or, or I have plenty of shimmers. Let's see. Let's grab, since I just got the Natasha Nadona, and this has three mattes in it. Let's grab this one. This is going to be like my kind of every day. This is going to give me a nice neutral base that I can build some colors on. So let's definitely get this one. And hmm, how many shimmers do you have? Do you have two or three? Well, I think you might have three. I don't know. Maybe just two. I think we're gonna stay away from that one for this month. What about the, the Natasha, not the Natasha Denona, the Huda Purple Haze? Okay, maybe the Huda Purple Haze gives me a few more mattes. Again, this one is a lot of shimmer. There's more shimmers than and glitters than there are mattes, so I don't know. Let me wait until I get to my big ones, my big palettes, and see. Okay, let's keep going here. Cleanse. No, these are moisturizers, not cleansers. I do not need a moisturizer. And look at this. This is insane, guys. I do not need. Do not let me buy moisturizers. I mean, it is crazy the amount of moisturizers I have. Like, I don't need a moisturizer. And look at this. I even have full-size Elemis ones. And I'm like, ooh, I need more. No, I don't. Just no. Okay. Serums. Do I need a serum? I think I need a nighttime one. I know your body. That's an essence. I'm looking for something that would be a good night one. Like a niacinamide or a retinol. That's a vitamin C. I bet you I have a ton of vitamin Cs. Okay, this one, let's go with the Symbiosis London. 
it has bee venom and niacinamide. So that's what I'm going to want to avoid. A niacinamide and the retinol you don't want to uh, use if you're going to be out in the sun. So since it's summertime, let's go with the niacinamide as a night one. All right. <sighs> Cleansers. Lord, if you thought I had enough... Um, if you thought I had a ton of moisturizers, the only thing I have more of is cleansers. So, the and folks, I kid you not, I have like six cleansers going right now. I have a cleansing balm. I have two exfoliators. There's, I have two by my sink that are like, like more like everyday ones. And then I have one in my shower. I have six cleansers going right now. Well, I need... What I do need is a balm. That is not a balm. You are not a balm. Do I have any balms in here? I probably don't even have balms in here. Guys, this is... Okay, moisturizers and cleansers. I'm not allowed anymore. Oh, wait, maybe we have a balm here. Do we have a balm? We have a cleansing balm. We're going to take the key soul care. There, because that might be the only cleansing balm we have in here. Here, I do have a couple, of course, that I just got. But um, we're not going to talk about those right now. We'll talk about those in a little bit. But for now, we're not talking about them. Okay, body moisturizers, There's, don't need one this month. Okay, so here we go. We need to find things that have mats. Now, what I really want to use is this uh, Huda Retrograde. Let's see. I have, well, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. It is definitely one I want to use. It definitely has some nice pinks and purples. It has some lighter browns, a darker brown, a dark burgundy. Okay, I'm going to take this and maybe one other one. I'm going to take, folks that were on my live know that I just had this one out um, to show them. I was talking about the new Nomad, had one that had come out, the um, Akavango oh, Safari one, and I was showing, I didn't get that one, at least not yet, but um, I was showing them the other Nomad pellets I have. I have the Toscana uh, I have the Berlin Underground, and I have the Venice Simplon, and um, this was their collaboration with Ipsy. And then it's not in here, but I do have the Hudson Valley one. That is in my 12 months of palettes as my November palette. It is, like, the most stunning palette. But, um... If you were on there, that was a long way around to say that the Toscana has a lot of mattes. The Toscana has a lot of beautiful matte shades in it. In fact, only this center one here is a shimmer shade. The rest are all mattes. So I'm going to grab this too. So, um, I may or may not use this one this month. Um, I'm going to kind of take a look when I get back to the other palette and see where I have, like, too many, uh, duplicates. This might be cheating, but I need to start using the ones in my, um, panning ABCs, and this is the Athena palette by Laritzi. Let's grab this one, and, uh, I'm going to double check the amount of I'm going to double check the amount of um, mats in here, but let's grab this one. I'll, I'll use the Toscana. I love the Toscana. In fact, we'll, we'll take it over and look. A couple more things to look at here. Your eye creams and night moisturizers. 
I might need a new night one before the end of the month. So, but it will be kind of pushing it. So let's just grab a little one. Where are you? Where are you? The Avant. You know what? Let's grab the one kind. I, mean, I don't think I've ever tried this one. I don't know if I've ever tried anything. I know I've gotten it in subscription boxes. So let's try this one. There. Don't need that. Highlighters and blushes. It is in um, face. Face ones. Let's grab the Mally and see how we like that as a face, face powder or powder foundation. And I have used up all my highlighters, folks. I, I, I'm amazed. Amazed. You know what? For the highlighters, let's and blushes. Since we're doing the Natasha Denona Cupid palette, let's and that's going to have a cream blush and a highlight, a um, powder highlighter in it. So we'll use that one. And I believe the Pat McGrath also has a highlighter and blush. So yes. So we're going to grab the Pat McGrath one also. Despite all the ones I have up here, I actually have more. And I know I need to do a lippy declutter. So let's look at my other ones. Okay, so here's my palette of the month. We know we're going with the Juvia's. I think I'm definitely going to go with the Huda. I think the Huda is a, the retro, Mercury Retrograve is a perfect match to this um it's got some it's got some similar colors but then it it has like deeper colors on things where it doesn't have over here like here we have a dark blue and a light blue or a dark purple and a light or purple but we don't have this like depth that we get in this one here we don't get the rosy depths that we uh, over here that we get down here same thing, we have like the lighter like shades of purple in here. Same thing with the blues. We pull in a couple of different blues. So I think I'm definitely going with these two. Now, when I look at the other ones, okay. So I have all three swatched on here. There, the, the bottom of the oh, is the Loritzi. Then in the center here, I have the Nomad. And then up here is the Natasha Denona. Definitely going to go with the Natasha Denona. Again, it has a couple of these shades that just bring a little bit more depth and everything. And give me a little bit more to play with in these. Definitely get my darker brown in there. there and a deep kind of purpley burgundy shade there. All right, so definitely going to pull that one in. And then it really comes down to the difference between these two. And these don't look like they have a, as much shimmer, but they really do. So I think I'm going to pull in my original thought with the Toscana palette. Just how cute is that? All right, so that's my choice. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the Toscana one in with those other ones. The Loretzi is just gonna have to wait another day. Hey, I still have seven months to work on it, right? Folks, I have a problem here. Oof. These are the lippies that don't fit in the big drawer of lippies. So let's pull some of these out to see what I want to use this month. Okay, I definitely, that's the Bella Pierre. There, I have, I thought I had thrown in, look at this, things are falling everywhere. The Elf, I know I love this slick stick, so I'm not going to pull that one out. Where are you? like the Clinique one that kind of started the craze of all of these kind of balm, like maroon type balms. I mean, this is a dupe of it. And I've got all kinds of dupes of it. Do I want this one though? Or do I want the Juvia's? 
know what? I'm going to grab the Juvia's one instead, I think. You can see some of these are my like collector ones here. Or, but this one it looks like on there. That is what it looks like on the hand. So I'm going to definitely pull that one. Definitely want to pull my Pat McGrath one here. This is the one we just got in the icon box, or it was one of my choices at least in the icon box. So I'm going to grab that one. Uh, this I think is, this is a Floresis one. So I haven't tried this one yet. I've been wanting to. Oh, I think one of my kids got into it and kind of smushed it up. Yeah. Because, I mean, look at the intricate detailing on there. It is so gorgeous. I don't think it was Emily either that got into this. I think it was Andrew and just, like, kind of broke it up. Like, mushed it up. Ooh, I can't get that back down. Hold on a second. Okay. So I went ahead and swatched those. The bottom one is the Floresis. The middle one, again, is the um, Juvia's. And then the top one there is the Pat McGrath. I feel like I need another lighter shade in there. So let's see what I can find. The context bulbs are amazing. So this is that context bomb. It is in it's called Back for More, and it is that last shade up there. I don't know, does that look too close to the Juvia's? I don't know. I'm going with that for now. Okay, so there is my stash that I'm going to be working on in the month of June. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. Let me know how you feel about them. And until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.